now there was a question on the community about uh, one interesting uh, uh, use case of uh, automation for jira now another question was all about uh, doing something when a new version is uh, created in uh, in the in the project so let us say if you create a new version here you want to let us say do something you want to maybe uh, create a new issue maybe you want to let someone know or maybe you want to have some record of uh, uh, a new versions or all the new versions that are being created or maybe you let, let us say you want to do something so when you cre create a new version um there is an event and you can capture that event and you can trigger a rule now i'll show you the rule in a in a second but what i want to also talk about is uh, let us say you create this uh, version with a specific name let us say um you want to create an issue when the new version is uh, is is created but not for all the versions if you create a version with uh, this name let us say no release or any 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 pattern any string you don't really want to do anything so that that was a requirement now the rule that i created is uh, basically um doing this for example if you look at this rule we are using this uh, trigger called version created and in this particular rule what uh, i have done i have used this regular expression where i have this uh, let me try to increase the size a bit so basically if you look at this regular ex regular expression we are doing a negative match so basically if this version contains this match then don't do anything don't don't proceed further if uh, not because you're you're using this neg negation uh, in the front and you can read about regular expression i mean i'm i'm not really uh, an expert on it but uh, if you do a quick search on uh, how to uh, how to basically uh, search for uh, a keyword but uh doing a negation you can you can you, you can find a lot of examples so what this rule will do this rule will uh, look for the name if the me if, if the name uh, doesn't match this no release then the rule will run now what i'm doing here is i am uh, simply creating a new task in my project called android and you can of course do it for any project or maybe you want to keep it as project independent rule it is up to you uh, so you can create a new issue and you can have uh, a summary but what i also wanted to talk about is that uh, uh, you can also log the message so if you are using uh, if you are familiar with scriptna and you are watching my videos i have been uh, showing you how to print something to the log tab but you can do something similar here so if you look for one uh, i mean uh, if you look for this uh, new action and uh, there should be something called as log action so basically you can uh, basically do logging using automation as well and when you do logging you can actually uh, print uh, let us say the version name if i mean you want to know or anything basically uh, in this case you are just printing the version name that is it so if you go to your uh, I I I'll not do any change. Or did I do any change? I guess not. So let us publish it anyway. So we have published the rule, and if you look at the audit log, you can see the you know I mean I I just changed few things, but I'll show you how to run the rule. Now, if you create a new version, and let us say the new version is uh, December twenty twenty, so it doesn't match the no release uh, regular expression that we have, and uh, it will basically do something hopefully. and we are looking at the android uh, project so if i go to the automation rule if i refresh my audit log let us see so it says success and uh, if you go to the more show more you can see uh, the uh, uh, you can see basically the details for example uh, the log will print the uh, version name and uh, because it didn't match the no release uh, i mean because we have a reg regular expression and it didn't match so it will create this uh, issue for you which is i believe uh, created in 50 so if i go back to the project and if i search for maybe an 50 i can uh, take a look at this new ticket of or issue whatever you want to call it based on uh, if you are using jira service management or jira software you have a new issue here which we just uh, created to uh, basically let someone know Uh, that we have a new version that is uh, uh, 
created. I mean, of course, uh, the summary is a bit misleading, but you can also do the same thing for uh, other uh, events, I believe. Like, for example, if you look at, uh, uh, I mean, there are other, uh, let me show you very quickly. For example, uh, if I go to, I mean, I, I, I wanted to talk about uh, other version related triggers, which I'll show you in a second. So this is fine. This this works good. But what if we uh, create a version with uh, a no release in the name? So we already have if I go to the release uh, section here, I'll get rid of my no release, I already have one no release version, I will delete it and I will probably create a new one so that we can trigger the rule or not trigger the rule, no release and uh, save and uh, we have a new version called no release. Now in this case, the rule should catch it, but it should not do anything. So let us uh, refresh the rule. And it says that action, no action performed. And if you look at this, uh, we have the log, uh, which I mean, because nothing happened, but uh, um, I, I mean, nothing happened. There was I mean, we were not supposed to do anything. So there is nothing here. But you can see here that uh, it did say no actions performed. And uh, that is how you can uh, do the same thing uh, using uh, this regular expression. So there are a few things that, that I covered in this video. Number one, we, tr we covered the uh, version related trigger. And number two, we discussed the no release or whatever regular ex expression that you want to match or not match. And uh, we also talked about the audit log, not talking about uh, the version related trigger. Let us take a look at uh, what all you can do with version. So if you create a new rule, you can take a look at just type in version. So you have version created, version released, version unreleased, um, version updated. So I think you can do quite a lot. For example, when you release a new version, maybe you want to do something. Maybe you want to send a message to your, uh, maybe you want to send an email or maybe you want to send a Slack message or maybe you want to trigger a webhook. You can do a lot of wonderful things with automation uh, as well. So that is all I wanted to cover in this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.